Hi, and welcome to another educational video about screen printing from Cat's Pit Productions. Today I thought we'd talk about the exposure unit or the light table. Uh, this is the piece of equipment that is used to expose your screens to your artwork. Okay, and it consists of a light box with a piece of glass. Very important that it's glass and not plexiglass because glass uh, will be straight, flat, parallel. It doesn't bow. Plexiglass can bow and that's not good, plus it scratches. So you got that and then you've got your, your top, which is a rubber uh, piece of material on the top that comes down and it employs a vacuum which will suck around to the, the screen. <clears throat> so what, what you do is, is you take your screen and this is a, a, a very bad screen. It got messed up because our drying rack was not level at the time. So we're just using this for demonstrative purposes only. But you take your screen, you're going to put your artwork on the screen. We like to tape it and at this point you're going to make sure that it's in the correct position on the screen. Where, you know, where do you need it to be? And sometimes this may be a more precise uh, step. You may need to measure it from the edge of the screen and make sure that you're in the right place in order to have this piece of artwork fall into the right place on the palette on the press. Okay, So we go ahead and put that on there. We close the top. Most of the time there's a little lock which once the vacuum goes, you really don't need the lock. Sometimes they fall down. Okay, and we're gonna vacuum it closed. does is it's vacuuming all the air out. It's pulling the rubber top down onto the screen. Okay, and we'll give you a close-up shot of this as well. But what it what it inset, what it's doing is making sure that your your film is flat up, pressed up against the bottom of the screen. And and it's also bringing in the black masking all the way around and sucking down into the top so that none of the light can go around the edges and expose the top and so that the artwork is pressed to the screen and none of the light can go around the actual piece of film too because uh, light can, can seep around the artwork in between the film and the emulsion and cause problems. So the whole idea is to sandwich everything together and keep it really flat and tight uh, so that the light can, all, you know, is blocked correctly and the top sucks down and prevents the light from coming around and exposing the top. Okay, and at this point, it's a good idea to talk about your film in that you need to make sure your film is dense. Okay, meaning that it's very black, it's very opaque. You can run into problems with your film if it's not dense enough. What happens is, is then the light, some of the light will go through the black here and expose the screen. And then when you go to the washout booth, you're going to have a hard time washing out your design because it's actually partially cured. Okay, so you want to make sure your film is dense. And vellums, this is a laser, uh, this is a laser film. It's, it's a plastic based and it, it's, I, you can see I actually have it doubled up because by itself it's just not dense enough. And I can only do this with particular pieces of artwork, double it up. Okay, so as I was saying, you need to make sure your film is dense. And it, you know, when you have fine line or, or dot, it's probably the easiest thing to do is to bring it to a print house and have it output on an image setter so it's on clear film and it's very dense so that you can cure your emulsion to the maximum without semi-curing 
where you're not supposed to be curing, okay? And then in the washout booth, you can have the maximum amount of time to work with the emulsion and wash it out without, uh, you know, having problems. Because the more time you spend in the washout booth, the more possibilities you get for, to supersaturate your cured emulsion and cause it to wrinkle and cause all kinds of bubbling problems or even to wash out parts of the finer detail. Okay, so, um, and here you can see, we'll go ahead and turn on, here's a little, these are the lights. This one's made with fluorescent tubes and uh, it's an industrial black light. So that's the exposure that it gets underneath the top. Okay? And uh, that's, that's, um, that's probably about it. Your time is going to be critical. You need to, you need to obviously figure out what, there's a, there's a timer on this, so, so that once you get everything in, you have it vacuumed down, you hit the timer, and it, it will expose the light for the preset amount of time so that you can be very consistent. So once you get your density, your film set, and your emulsion, you can have the same time, the same exposure time for all, pretty much all your screens, uh, you know, of the same mesh. So when you move between mesh counts, then there can be exposure differences based on the color of the mesh and the mesh count. Okay? So, uh, let's see. I think that's about it. We'll give you a close-up of the equipment throughout the uh, video here.